Hello and welcome to the Jazz Ranch. I'm your alter Dominique Ego Man. You can call me Mr. Ego if you like. And welcome Groovy Chicks and Hip Catch. And you know, uh, the KH, he received a comment recently and they said he wasn't swinging. Well, what do you expect from a white boy from New England with Anglo-Saxon blood and so on? He gave up swinging when he left the uh, jungle gym. You know, he's left that up to the kids and the uh, acupuncturist. Anyway, what are we going to do with this fellow? You know, he can't swing. But anyway, I hello, hello friends and welcome to the Jazz Ranch. I'm sorry about the alter dominant ego man, but you know, he actually came to my defense there saying that, uh, that I was capable of swinging. Well, I hope I can. And anyway, uh, I have a special video for you this evening and a tutorial and I have something unusual that is new for me. It's like playing with a backing track. Now you can get this right off of YouTube. They're free. Just go to backing tracks and put in the song you want to play along with. I'm going to be doing Stella by Starlight. Now I don't have the right balance now. I know I need the backing track to come up in the mix. But I'm just doing this right off of my camera and I need better equipment. So I need you techies to write to me and help me out with this. So please write to me and help me out. But here we go now with uh, playing along with the backing track. And I'm going to show you what I do later on with my left hand and how to get in sync with the backing track. Here we go. Stella by Starlight. <laughs>
Now I'm going to apply some of these things that are in my book and show you how I'm using these voicings in my left hand. Rootless voicings. In other words, I'm going to be showing you root position and how you position it in the first inversion. So that's that's E minor, or you can do E minor 7 flat 5. So now when I invert it, I'm putting the ninth in there. So and then it's very easy to go to the A7 with a flat 9 and a 13 just by moving one note like there. Then I go to the third inversion of a C minor 9 there. Now it's there, so I'm just using part of the chord. And then the F13 like that. See, so these rootless voicings are the hip sound. This is the sound you want to get uh, with these, you know, if you want a modern sound. Now there's the F minor 9. You see I'm adding, there I'm adding an 11th there, actually. Minor 3rd, 4th there, 11, 7, 9. get to here you say well what are you going to do with the chord in the left hand well now I play it in the right you see I get down there well, I just play the bass note I put the chord in on the right hand so, yeah so when you're down in the lower register like this below you know below middle C here's middle C it's nice to just double the melody in the left hand don't do too much in the left hand See, you see? Doubling in the left hand here. See, now these voicings here, like that's an A minor 7 flat 5, and then here. See, that just that alone, when I'm adding those harmony notes in the right hand, I'm adding, let's look at it, it's a D chord, right? The bass player is playing the D, so I don't need the D, but I got the third, I got the seventh, then I got the flat nine, I've got the sharp 11, and I've got the D, that's a flat 13, right? Yeah, so there's a 13, there's a flat 13, or augmented fifth, and that's the melody note. See, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to add as many color tones as possible into the chord before it becomes ridiculous. In other words, where it sounds really pretty and beautiful, you want to get that. I could do, I could do this even, and it still sounds good. See, I'm putting these... I'm putting, I'm putting that in there. The ninth, you see? This one I did. This I did this. So I'm just moving parallel motion. Those are fourth voicings. You see now there's augmented fourth, there's a fourth, there's a fourth, there's a third. So they're basically fourths, and then you can move them chromatically like this. So you want to practice those kind of voicings, moving them in that kind of motion. Very modern sound. And then, now a full rich sound here. Root seventh, tenth, flat five, seven, nine, eleven. And there's your sharp eleven. So you want to see that you can get these voicings not only just in the left hand as voicings there as rootless voice but you can get them as full spread voicing these are spreads now my book can really help you to understand how to play these left hand voicings because first i talk about in this chapter 16 in book two i talk about your root position and inversions and here you have two five ones. You go through the two five one progressions in root positions. Next step will be taking them to the first inversion and adding now the in nine. the next chapter, you get the rootless voicings in the two five one progression in first inversion. So you drop the root and you add the ninth on the top, and you go through the cycle of fifths. So here you have it. Now you have it in second inversion, first inversion, second inversion, and then you'll have it in third inversion. So the A form, we call the A form 
first inversion. We call the third inversion the B form. I'm going to show you so that here, now. Here's the third inversion. This is the B form. This is a Mahegan concept, but it, it basically means that you're inverting the chord now so the seventh is on the bottom of the chord, and then you can add the ninth and the thirteenth on the top. So you're getting more, more color tones into the chord, and that's basically what I'm doing. I'm using mostly a combination of first inversion and third inversion, and then some first inversion, some second inversions occasionally, but mostly first inversion and third inversion, which are the A form and the B form. These are essential to learn if you want to play modern concept, modern jazz concepts in your left hand for playing with a, in a trio. So now the way I've set up my book is you always have an example, you have an exercise, you have the theory, plus you have an application of the theory and the example in an actual song that is practical to learn. This is Our Love is Here to Stay by George Gershwin. So here you have the rootless voicings in the left hand applied to a song that you want to learn to play. So that's how I've laid it out. Signing off, and thanks so much for hanging out with me on this first attempt of mine to play with a backing track, and uh, we'll make it better as we go along and we get some help from you to get a, a better balance. But in the meantime, I want you to try it out. Just go to YouTube and uh, put in backing tracks and you'll see a whole list of tracks you can play along with and you can begin to play with a trio in a, play, a trio setting and get your time together and everything else. So write to me, please let me know and check out the link below where they said I couldn't swing and uh, give me some response to that. I'd love to hear from you. So here we go now. We're gonna head out and say swing loose. Bye-bye.